Hey guys, welcome to another YouTube tutorial. Um, so this one's a little bit of a bigger one. So we're going to be moving to root motion. Also means we're going to be using uh, the built-in physics gravity um, and the built-in physics, mainly because we also want to switch to a rigid body later on as well. Okay, so what I'm first going to do is I'm going to click on Jack and make sure we click apply root motion. Cool. And then what I'm also going to do, I'm going to go to edit, project settings, we we'll come to physics and right at the top, you can see we have gravity. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set that to zero because we're going to be setting that programmatically a little bit later on. So I'm going to save that and close that. Okay, so what we'll do now, because we're using uh, root motion, uh, if we go to our character controller script, go to our movement region, scroll all the way to the bottom of our movement function. You see here where we say character controller.move, we have player movement and gravity movement. So what we'll do is we'll get rid of player movement and just have our gravity in there for now. So well, let's go ahead and see what this looks like. I'm going to click maximize on play, just hit play. Okay, so first thing you'll notice is that the animations link up straight away, uh, which it should do using root motion, um, mainly because it calculates the player speed based off of the actual animation itself. Um, all the jumping should work. Um, you can also see that um, we now don't have an is grounded, uh, mainly because using the new root motion system, we kind of we need to build our own. Okay, so it's quite simple to do. It sounds complicated, but we need to do it for a rigid body anyway, uh, mainly because the rigid body doesn't have this handy little function called is grounded, like the character controller does. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and start changing that. So. As you can see, the gravity is already working. Um, so we're going to go ahead and remove um, some of the gravity stuff that we don't need. So we're actually going to see this tutorial as kind of like a uh, cleanup tutorial as well. Okay, so our is grounded here will need to be changed. Is falling and everything will still stay the same. Okay, so for calculate gravity, because um, this is now using the physics engine, we no longer need to do this. The only thing we really need to do is uh, set the physics.gravity. Um, so what I'm going to do instead of calculate gravity, I'm just going to get rid of all of this. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go physics. If I can spell physics, physics dot gravity, and we'll set the gravity in here. So what we'll do is we'll set gravity to, uh, equal gravity direction times by gravity. And uh, that's pretty much it. Okay, so we'll also go ahead and remove all the variables that we're not using. Um, so we're not going to be using gravity movement anymore. So we'll get rid of that. Current gravity can go. Max gravity can go. And constant gravity can go. Okay, so as you'll see, it will throw a few errors. So let's go ahead and start cleaning through them. So apply jump force. Uh, we'll just comment that out for now. Uh, we're going to be having to change this anyway because we'll be using a rigid body. Okay. Um, and then also our in our movement function where we add the gravity movement, uh, what we'll do is we'll get rid of the value and we'll just comment this line out. The reason why I'm still keeping it is because this, were, this is where we'll add the movement for the, um, the rigid body. Mainly because, so the rigid body will be using the root motion when it's on the ground um, but when it's in the air we will still be adding some forces to it which is our player movement variable here um, so basically we'll have minimal movement while you're in the air um, but I think it'll just it'll just make the falling a little bit more realistic uh, okay so now for the bigger changes let's get back into the project we will remove the character controller so I'm just going to click remove component We'll add component and just make sure oh, we'll need to add a capsule collider and a rigid body. Okay, so for the rigid body, the way the mass works is it doesn't actually matter what you set this to as long as it's relative to all your um, other game objects. So say, for example, um, if I put one in here and I put one on a car, that's not going to work. The car's going to be the same mass. Uh, if I put one in here and a thousand on a car, that'll kind of be a little bit more realistic if that kind of makes sense. So it's basically done on a ratio scale. The easiest way to do it is uh, use real life weights and 
apply this to a unit. So in my case, I'm going to use kilograms. And uh, I don't know, I'm just going to set this this little fella here to 90 kilograms, which I think is probably normal for a human. I'm not too sure, to be honest. <laughs> um, okay, and what I'm also going to do is I'm going to tick the little use gravity because uh, we wanted to use the physics gravity now. Um, and what I'll also do is interpolate. Um, I'll set it to interpolate. And basically what that does is it works out uh, because the physics is done on a different keyframe system. It's uh, every frame. Uh, sorry, not every frame. Uh, what this will do is it'll interpolate positions together uh, just to make it seem like a much smoother movement than it actually is. Um, so it's recommended for when you uh, use a rigid body on your character that's on the screen for a long time. Okay, so now we have our root motion, our capture collider rigid body. I'm just going to expand capture collider and uh, let's line this up and make sure that this is all good. Uh, so I've used my character enough to kind of know what the value should be. So I'm just going to go ahead, you just play around with it until it matches your character, change the radius, just make sure it fits your character nicely. Okay, I'd say that, that's about right for my dude, my little dude. And I'm just going to make sure that everything is still okay with the movement. Okay. All right, so once you've done your collider, uh, what we'll now need to do is finish the bigger changes, which is instead of character controller, what we'll have is our rigid body instead. Um, so I'm going to follow the whole character naming scheme that I started. And instead of character controller, we'll have character rigid body. Instead of character controller, we'll have rigid body. Okay. So some big changes coming in. Um, I'm just going to copy that so that I have to type it every single time. So I'll do for character controller here, make sure we change it to our new rigid body and get component, we'll get our rigid body instead. Um, there will be a few errors that are thrown. Like I said, our rigid body no longer has our is grounded. So for now, I'm just going to return false until we create our own function for that. Okay, and down here in the movement, instead of character control the velocity, luckily the rigid body still has the velocity. Cool. So that should be all we need. I can now get rid of any errors. Uh, I'm going to hit play just to make sure everything is still, uh, the movement is still working. The jumping system will be broken at the minute. Okay, so let's go into our, our capsule, uh, our rigid body and constraints. What we need to do is we need to freeze the rotation on some of these. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab our jack, open the rotate tool and just make sure which axis I don't want to freeze. So I don't want to freeze the Y, so we'll just do X and Z. Save that. Okay, so now everything's in play. Uh, what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to create a uh, new folder as well. And I'm going to call it Physic Materials. It's nice for materials, materials. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a um, physics material in here. I'm just going to call it default. Um, and by default, we'll give zero friction. Uh, mainly because we're going to be handling our movement through um, either through code or through root motion. Um, and if we want otherwise, we can uh, just create some more physics materials inside that folder. I'm going to go back to edit. Project settings, make sure I'm on physics, default material. I'm just click and drag that into there. Cool, hit save. Okay, so now everything's set. Apply root motion is ticked, everything is good. I'm going to go ahead and hit play and just make sure that our movement is still working. So it seems to be moving fine. Um, the one thing I will note is that the jumping is broken. Uh, mainly because we don't have our is grounded. So if we try to fall off, we'll just be <laughs> stuck in a loop. And because we now use root motion, we can no longer move. Okay, so that's it for this tutorial. Next tutorial, we'll be adding our own uh, is grounded trigger. Um, and then we'll basically be uh, back where we were in the, in the last tutorials, except uh, with our new rigid body setup and our uh, meter animations. 
Cool. All right. So I'll see you in the next one.